Hello sleepy heads. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Remy and I make ASMR videos. Whoops. I already explained in my last video that I'm getting a haircut in a little bit. So hair is a little wild today. I have some breakage here that's creating a really wild tendril. So for today's video, I'm super excited to show you a few of my favorite secondhand and vintage finds, clothing, and a few accessories that came to me by way of thrifting either my own or my friends because um, a couple of these items were gifts so let's jump right in so first we have what i'm wearing this is just like a, a kind of dicky or a bib um, or like a statement collar you could you could say and I just found it at Crossroads a few months ago. It's the only thing I bought. I tend to buy a lot slower when I'm thrifting, which is the goal, you know, that's optimal. So it's a nice black and white gingham. Some people call it checks, but when it's really small and uniform like this, I actually always Think of it as gingham, especially if when you look closer, you can see that there's the implication of like ribbons crossing each other, you know? Like it's lighter here, and then where they intersect, it's darker. So just think of Dorothy and Wizard of Oz or Picnic Blanket. You know, picnic blankets you often see red gingham and Dorothy wore blue gingham. So this has little ruffles at the hem. And it can just be popped on onto any outfit. Popped onto any outfit for an easy pop of playfulness, drama. Doesn't feel super dramatic because it feels so young and sweet, but get this, it's reversible, <laughs> it's reversible and the other side is cow print, I don't know if I ever wear it except as part of like a Toy Story costume. I so respect that it has its secrets. I love that for it. So yeah, that's the first item I was really eager to show you. So next up, we have the purse that I referenced in my birthday gifts show and tell. This is the bag that my best friend brought out to Los Angeles and used to transport her gifts to me and it took me a really long time to process and understand, accept that the purse itself was a gift. I really didn't get it. <laughs> I really didn't get it. I was worried that she was joking and if I if I was like, oh great, thanks for the purse, if I took it seriously, it would create an awkward moment. So she had to reassure me like five times in a very literal, seri serious tone that the purse was for me. So here it is, and I love it. It actually has someone's 
information here, you know, as part of the authenticity of prior owner's address in Iowa. Very cool. Very cool. So this bag is by American Tourister and I actually, funny enough, had a bag from the same company. This one is polyurethane. It's like a printed vegan leather. Um, and several years ago, I was in Minnesota and I thrifted. Sorry about the plane. Several years ago, I was in Minnesota and I thrifted an American tourister. Um, kind of like a weekender slash messenger bag. Like it was just a very wide, wide messenger bag with, with an envelope pocket on the front. And I don't know if that's what you would call it. Maybe not an envelope but pocket. It had like a, a flap. And it was red. It was red. Italian leather and I loved it so 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 much but but in the last few years I've made a decision that I just I don't like having real leather even if it's second hand it's just my personal preference and I gave it away and I was very, very sad about it. I also just needed to clear out the energy because I had gotten it on a trip to visit a friend with whom I had a falling out. And I was always going to associate it with her and that friendship and that trip and that time in my life. I think I was 18. So, yeah. It was just an incredible thing when my best friend now, when my best friend gave this to me, it's so reminiscent of that bag. It has so many different pockets in which she hid little gifts. I think she put the emery board in this pocket. Oh, that's heavy. And, you know, it is used, so it has some scuffing and could maybe use a cleaning, but I'm happy to do all of that. To take good care of it and these keys you know it used to be much more a thing to have luggage keys you know come with I suppose some suitcases come with locks and keys nowadays but it feels more often like something you you buy separately so I think it's a sweet thing that they used to come with. Keys like this. I don't know if you can see the little face on the key. And he has a little bow tie. Actually, there are two of them. There are two little buddies. And my original American Tourister bag had a set of keys. They looked like feathers or little quills. And I loved them back so much and had such mixed feelings, you know, such grief mixed into the choice to let it go that I kept, that I kept the keys and I still have them in my closet right out there. Not this closet actually, out there, the whole closet. So, this dress. 
This is kind of wild. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little tear at the bottom that's ever so slightly ruffled. So, this is a floor length prairie style dress. store window in Burbank and it just called to me. I don't know how to explain it. And I did not try it on. And a month later, I was back in that area and still thinking about this dress when you really know it's got a hold on you and I passed the store and saw that it was no longer in the window and I was like well obviously someone bought it but I decided to stop in and I was looking through the racks and racks of dresses and there it was tucked away so I guess the store owner had just rotated out the mannequins out the window display and so I went ahead and tried it on. And as silly as the print is, it fit like a glove. Like even the length. I'm so short and it doesn't even need to be hemmed. Hits the floor perfectly when I'm wearing my heels, my like two inch everyday boots. And then this little tie in the back nips in the waist really nicely. You all know how much I love anything adjust you know how much I love anything adjustable when it comes to clothing and shoes. It just makes life easier, you know? Anything you can tie and make tighter, make looser, let out, buckle in, so on and so forth. And then, of course, the ribbon, and then the ruffle, these lines created by, by both together, they're really flattering as well. I really like when things get wide at the shoulders. I think it's very flattering, and I'm not afraid to have a strong, a strong shoulder. I don't know why, but when my sister was in high school, that was like a big deal like a way to body shame someone wants to be like you have big shoulders what i love like i do for my frame have like wider shoulders i love it i have big hands for my size big shoulders check their way through a door or open a jar of pickles. Don't be afraid to come a knock and <laughs> then my arms themselves are like limp, <laughs> limp noodles. So, but anytime the task requires a concentration of shoulder strength, the perfect ratio of like strong shoulders to nothing, weak, weak, weak arms. Okay, so frizzy. <laughs> okay, so here we have, so here we have the last gift I need to show you from my friend for my birthday. I said that I would circle back and show you the 
item of clothing she gave me from, from a vintage shop in New York. Maybe she bought it online, I'm not entirely sure. It's this little play suit. Sorry, I had to cough. It's a little play suit, like a romper, that sort of thing. And it's got little cuffed shorts with these little buttons. Oh my goodness. And then it's got piping. For a very sporty look. White piping. Piping on the pockets. And hand up across the chest. Another little button. Where is it? There it is. On a little pocket. A little like mock breast pocket. And then it these laces at the shoulders they really do look like almost like shoelaces because they're such a again a sporty um like a kind of athleisure white and just like the that very familiar like knit of ordinary shoelaces. So I think you can actually bring the shoulders in that way. And then the waist is super and then the waist is super stretchy, super elasticated with a matching drawstring. So again, somewhat adjustable. You know how I feel about that. And of course, as you as you may, I shouldn't say as you can see in case you're not sighted, but um this is a bright, bright pink. The only two colors on the play suit, it's all this solid like lipstick pink with really stark Sporty white accents in the laces and the drawstrings and the occasional touch of piping. So yeah. So I tried it on when my friend was here and oh there is a zipper, a back zipper, and we were elated. See that it fits like a glove. And something she gave me did not fit as well in the past. So I know I say lots of, I tell you the stories of, oh, it fit like a glove, oh, it fit perfectly. But it's not, 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 not always the case, especially because I'm so, so short. It's just because, you know, if I'm showing you something, especially in a favorite video, it worked out. You know what I mean? So I don't want to sound like a braggart being like, oh, it fit perfectly because, you know, when we went, um, when we went thrifting together, there were certainly many things that did not, did not fit and broke my heart a little bit. Okay, so... So I'm going to try to go a little faster through the rest, just to make sure I finish filming before my, before my haircut. Oh, I just want to be clear that the prairie style 4th of July dress, let's call it, that spangled, well it's not spangled, but the red, white, and blue dress, that is not a gunny sack. Um, it may look, maybe it doesn't, but in case it looks to you like it could be, 
it is definitively nuts and I still adore it whoever made it, I don't know that brand but they did a great job I love it and if you don't know, Gunny Sachs is like a famous like a very sought after um, line of prairie style dresses um, very sought after in the, the world of thrifting, of vintage um, sourcing and shopping so okay, so I'm so excited to show you these whoops, spoiler, these last two dresses I got just a few weeks ago when I was thrift shopping with my best friend in Burbank such good jobs in Burbank, that's why I keep saying Burbank, Burbank, Burbank so, um, this was a separate occasion from when I, when I found the not gunny sacks <laughs> when I found that dress and a, a separate occasion from when I went back and bought it that was like six months ago Whereas these two dresses are from my birthday from shopping in February So this first one Oh my god <laughs> Sorry, it's really messing with with the white balance So this is from the 1970s and what do you know? It's adjustable. It would not have fit me otherwise, but it's adjustable at the bust because of these laces. I also love anything that laces up along the same lines, you know. It's adjustable wrap skirts and things with buckles and things with laces and things with waist ties and back of neck ties. I love it all. I love it all. Oh, sure, and let's not forget elastication. That is a form of adjustability. It's, you just, you don't have to do anything. It self-adjusts. Very smart garment. So, so here's the back. It's got a really short waist in the back because it's mostly backless. Really low in the back. So, oh, look at the orange zipper. So this is like a bright, pulpy, like a blood orange So by that I mean it's like a red toned orange And then it's got these polka dots of different sizes And a very like, it looks to me like a 60s print, it's like very mod But this is a 70s dress The shop does a great job always letting you know, you know, the era of the era of origin of any given garment and so the polka dots are all different sizes some big ones down here and some really little ones and then some medium sized ones kind of along a gradient it looks like well, this is kind of random but they do look like they get bigger as you go down and then it's interrupted by this block of chunky ones and the outlines of all the dots are kind of purple very pink purple and then the dots themselves inside are a light or like a medium pink like a barbie pink and it's floor length on me so summery and so like sexy like it almost looks like swimwear in a dress you know what I mean so 
So yeah, this was... Ooh, I splurged. Because it was my birthday, I bought all these. Like, my, my friend was like, oh, let me buy you something. And I was like, absolutely not. Um, and she found lots of good stuff for herself. She'd already spoiled me so much on this trip. Um, and I wanted her to focus on herself. So I definitely splurged for my birthday. So this was $68. And yes, it says... 1970s Lastly we have And lastly from that day We have oh, If you can't tell I'm feeling Very enamored of Really pulpy, juicy oranges and pinks lately Going into hot season, the warm season here in Los Angeles, the hot season is weirdly like August through October, <laughs> but yeah, oh, sorry, I, <laughs> sometimes I just jump right in and I don't, don't finish introducing it, so this is a bright red orange dress, also from the 1970s, also floor length and also somewhat adjustable because of this built-in tie at the waist so it's got everything I like including a strong shoulder with some flounce and and in general lots of ruffles not lots well, not lots, but a sufficient amount of ruffle. So it's, so it's really breezy and comfortable. Whoa! It's really breezy and comfortable and just really sweet. Just makes me feel, makes me feel really beautiful when it's on. I did not expect it. It's a little like unassuming. It seems kind of boring on the rack. But I spotted the tie at the waist and I was like, we have something here. This could be really sweet and really flattering and really easy, you know? A dramatic look that's easy to accomplish. Those are my favorite things. You know? Comfortable drama. just gonna be like your brightest self because you're not gonna be like itching and squirming but you're gonna feel like a goddess so I encourage it find what makes you feel like a comfy goddess okay okay the imperative for the summer oh let me show you the tag don't need to be so quick to be done with it so this was $55 and this said 1970s as well I got that a little more from this, you know, than from the other one, which I thought would have been like late 60s But maybe that's my own ignorance So this one is sized as a 6 and the other dress was sized as a 2 slash 4 That doesn't make sense because they fit me pretty similarly I know they are adjustable to some extent, but not enough that I think they should be entirely different sizes like by almost whole sizes, so just know that with thrifting, it's very confusing. Ignore the sizing. Trust yourself, hold things up, and if you're feeling comfortable and it's not triggering for you, try things on. Okay, so I have one more thing that I was planning to show you. I don't really have time to get into it, but I'll give you a glimpse of it. It's a Pinoa set from... I think the 60s, maybe the 50s, I knew at the time of purchase because I bought it from, from an Etsy shop that was really um, knowledgeable about knowledgeable about vintage clothing, especially vintage lingerie and dressing gowns and, you know, slips and things like that. So, 
So yes, I bought this several years ago online. And it's this, and it's this gorgeous light lemon yellow. It's a linen, it's like a really light fabric. And it has these tiers of like peekaboo lace. And it's got this Peter Pan color. It really deserves more attention than I can give it today. So we'll definitely have to circle back. And it's floor length. But underneath, as part of the matching set, There's a nightgown, sleeveless, it's just like a tube all the way to the floor, so it again has that kind of column shape, but at the top it's, oh gosh, I'm doing a terrible job, underneath there's a little baby doll style, floor length, peignoir, like a, like a nightgown, like a mix between a nightgown and a slip, and it ties at the waist, you know I love that. And it has that repeating, very sexy peekaboo lace all the way down. And it is a very straight line, which makes it kind of like a, again, like a column shape all the way to the floor. So yeah, I'm very sad to not have more time to explore that with you. I don't want to be late. I don't want to keep my hairdresser waiting. So yeah, so yeah, those are just a few of my favorite second-hand or vintage pieces. I was thinking I'm like vintage is second-hand, but some of them are second-hand, but not necessarily vintage. Maybe they are all vintage. I don't think this is. So anyway, so thank you all so so much. For watching and listening. I hope you get lots and lots of good REM sleep and as always, I hope all your dreams are sweet.